Next, last but not least, please join me in welcoming Francesca Fedeli from Fight the Stroke in Italy. Welcome, Francesca. Ciao, I'm Francesca from uh, Italy, and I'm representing Fight the Stroke, who is a social enterprise advocating for young stroke survivors that actually uh, went through a disability that is called cerebral palsy. What I wanted to show you, if the slides uh, are going, is uh, why I got to know this history. So uh, me and my husband went through uh, this uh, cerebral palsy disability and discovered it for the first time because in 2011, when my son Mario was born, after 10 days we discovered that he got a stroke. At that time, we didn't know that even uh, kids, even unborn kids, could suffer a stroke and uh, that this could lead them uh, to a diagnosis of uh, motor impairments, cognitive impairments, uh, and uh, behavioral problems. So as you can imagine, we spent more than two years looking for solutions all around the world, but what we have found in terms of rehabilitation was just this kind of kids could uh, only attend uh, two hours per week of motor rehabilitation, and that's what they deserve. So we thought that uh, the motor rehabilitation at that time was not effective, was not designed around these uh, children, uh, and uh, overall it was not scientifically uh, evidence-based. So we came up with a solution that is not just a simple help or a simple piece of technology that could solve the problem of all of this family. We rethought about a new uh, inclusive design approach and uh, uh, rethought about a new ecosystem that we called Mirrorable. So we get in touch with our uh, parents, with our family, uh, through two main entry points. One are the Facebook closed groups, and the other uh, are the international and national uh, uh, center for pediatric stroke that we have newly established, for example, in, uh, in Italy, in, uh, in Genova. Uh, then these kids can go through an intensive home therapy program. It's based on mirror neurons, so very uh, evidence-based, uh, supported by the National uh, Research Center. And uh, just uh, uh, staying at home and having this kind of uh, rehabilitation that could improve uh, in terms of motor outcomes plus 26% compared to the traditional therapy. Then uh, uh, throughout all the year, they could go uh, a kind of a one or two intensive summer camps all together. And this is where we do apply our proprietary methodology, but also uh, where we can uh, match the kids uh, and also where uh, we can deliver them uh, almost uh, the same amount of hours of rehabilitation that they usually deserve during the year. So if we think of a world in which this is not uh, a rare disability, but it affects more than 17 millions of kids and family all around the world, uh, we have come out with, uh, with a solution. That's not a miracle, but uh, we know that if we can uh, uh, early detect uh, the, the type of uh, pathology that uh, uh, these kids have gone through and uh, we uh, help them and their family with intensive appropriate re rehab plan, uh, we could for sure have a, a better outcome in terms of better life of these families. So what we are doing right now, we have uh, done our homeworks, we have done our clinical trials in Italy, we have demonstrated that uh, this uh, program is uh, effective. Uh, 
and we have uh, used whatever kind of technology uh, that could help us on deliver the product at global level. So even when thinking about development of the platform, uh, we were already thinking globally and developing it in multiple languages. That's why we feel that now we are ready to expand our, our solution and uh, what we are looking for right now is just a, a partner that would like to be in this journey with us. So there could be private public hospitals, insurance companies, and power families. So families like, like us uh, went through this, uh, this issue, but uh, that they want to fight the stroke together with us. Thank you.